In this video, I will show you how to compress your video files without losing quality. And we're going to use a free software called Handbrake. Now, there will be times when you want to compress your video files. One of the most common things is that you may want to upload the large video files, but the location there has a space constraint. The second reason is maybe you want to save some bandwidth, maybe you're using your mobile phone to upload and you just want to make the file as small as possible. Finally, you may, you may be wanting to archive some of your less important video clips and you want to compress it to save space. Stick to the end of the video and I will show you some tips and some extra thoughts how to optimize a handbrake for your situation based on the hardware that you have, the space and the time as you want to compress this video. When it comes to making your video file size smaller, there are, you actually have a few options. Number one, you can export your video in a lower resolution. However, that will mean that your video will be in a lower resolution and if it's on the large screen, you lose quality. Now, the second way is, of course, you can use a higher compression codec. For example, H.265, which has a higher compression uh, ratio. But what I found is that it takes a whole lot longer time on my system anyway. Uh, your system may be different. And finally, you can actually use a software like Handbrake to compress that video file. So let's dive straight into the screen. I'm going to show you how to use Handbrake. When you start Handbrake, this is the screen that you will see. Uh, it allows you to sort of load up a folder or a file, or you can also drag a, drop a file or a folder here. I'm just going to open a single video file. Click on that and then select the video. I'm going to select this video here my introduction to this video okay which is this video here first handbrake will scan the video okay so i can have some preview this is the video uh, there are actually quite a number of settings here and handbrake actually have very good documentations for example the quality settings and some of the other settings so uh, i'm going to cover this uh, briefly in the video so that you can actually get started with handbrake on the key things what we are going to be after is those in this tab here. Now at the moment, the preset is set for fast 1080p at 30 frames per second. You can actually change the preset to something else. Go for the general, for example, fast, very fast, high quality. Okay, and uh, I'm going to leave this for now and I'm going to show you what are the important things that you can cover here. Okay, and then right at the bottom is where you want to save your video. So I'm just going to change this first to say I'm going to save it in this directory. And usually I save it back in the original folder. You may have a different idea of doing it. That's fine. And save it. Okay, so nothing happens yet until you start encoding. All right, by pressing this button. Okay, so let's go for the... Uh, format now you have an option for three main formats mp4 mkv or webm i'm going to leave it as mp4 so let's cover some of these uh, tabs here uh, first is the dimensions so this is the original source at 1920 by 1080 p this is my video dimension i'm going to leave it there i'm going to leave most of this uh, as unchanged uh, note that you can crop that video and handbrake also has allowed for automatic cropping. This is to uh, crop up the black bars if you have them at the top or the bottom of the video. Now, there are some video creators like to create sort of like a fake white screen and they add uh, black bars to the top. Uh, so you can actually crop them off because it does uh, take time, right? Now, when it comes to anamorphic, you can just leave it to normal or loose. Uh, Handbrake's uh, website actually have quite good documentation that explains this a little bit more. I'm going to cover this at the later part so that you can see it for yourself. I'm going to leave filters as it is for the time being. Let's head on over to the video. So this tab is where you set where the size of the videos and the quality of your video. Now first off, you have your video codec. I usually leave it as H.264. Okay, you may want to try higher compression at H.265 or X.265. The newer codec takes longer time. Now, when it comes to the frame rate, I usually go for the same as the source because I know for my video camera, it is 29.97 and I'm going to leave it as the constant frame rate. Now, this is where your quality is actually set. If you hover over the scale, you notice that the help file comes up 
The suggested value is 18 to 20 for standard definition and 20 to 23 for high definition source. Now there's a lot of things on the internet. However, if you go to the documentation on Handbrake itself, these are the recommended quality settings. Okay, for X264 or X265, which is similar to H264 and H265 uh, codecs. So for high definition, 1080p, the RF is from 20 to 24. Uh, for 4K, ultra high definition is 22 to 28. And what this refers to is this part over here, the RF. Okay, you can change the slider to the right or to the left. Now, as you move to the right, it starts to become placebo quality. If you go all the way to zero, it is actually lossless and you will end up with a larger file than your source video clip. So you can actually adjust the scale. If you want to have a higher quality, you can go for slightly to the right, say around 20. Okay, and if you want to have a smaller file size, you want to go to the left. The suggestion here is by beginning by begin by making small adjustments plus or minus one to three RF is usually noticeable. So uh, as I'm going to cover a little bit later in the video is that the best thing is actually for you to experiment for yourself. When it comes to audio, uh, the original clip from my camera is AC3. If you want to compress the audio, then you can actually select a lower bit rate. However, because audio makes such a small uh, small part of the video and uh, the video is several magnitudes order when it comes to the bit rate. What I prefer is to actually just go for auto pass through or EC3 pass through. This means that the audio will be preserved in your video as you compress it. Okay, so you may want to choose a different one that's up to you. Now, when it comes to subtitle, I, I don't have subtitles in my video. Uh, you can read more about this on the chapter here on the documentation. Uh, adding subtitles and some subtitles can be burned into the video and this is mostly with uh, DVDs and all that. You can also uh, input some soft uh, subtitles which means they are not burned into the video. So there are all these uh, settings here that you can read. Now because I don't use so much of this, I tend to skip all this. And finally, these are the chapters. You want to create chapter markers, it's up to you. This is mainly for uh, things like DVDs and Blu-rays videos. So once you're done, you can actually just start encode and uh, Handbrake will start encoding. It will take some time. Now, Handbrake has is almost done compressing my video file over there. It has actually gave a time of about 15 minutes when it started or around 16 minutes. Now, while uh, Handbrake is compressing, you can actually do other things. For example, you can actually uh, add more videos and add it to a queue. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm first go back to open source, go back open a file or a single file. Now I am going to select this version, this video here, and the handbrake will scan it as usual. Now assuming that if you are using everything similar to the other video, you can actually just give it a new name. Okay, change the browse, change it to a different directory. So let's say this is uh, intro one compressed. All right, save it. Now instead of encoding it straight away, you can actually add this to queue. So I'm just going to add this video to the queue. All right, so if you are adding video to the queue, you can see this. So right now I have this uh, being compressed and this is being added to the queue. All right, so uh, once, it's, once the first video is completed, then you will start compressing the second video. Now I'm going to pause it because uh, otherwise it will uh, take too long. So you know you can actually uh, add more videos and add it to the queue. So let me show you another one. All right, so at least you can see the length of the queue. Let's say I put this here, change the name. Okay, so it's always going back to C. You can actually go for the preference file, go to preferences, All right? So check out, this is, a, this is the general settings. Go to output automatically name output. I am going to change the path. So this is using the default path. Okay, so I'm not going to use the default. I'm going to browse to this specific path. Okay, and say, put it here. This is my default so that I don't have to go back to the C drive. Obviously use the default path for new names. Okay, so let's just use this as the default. And you can actually 
have other preferences as well. For example, you want to use the automatic file extension. So I'm going to use this as M use MP4 and uh, file override. Ask to override if there's any file with the same name. Okay, you will overwrite it or you can actually append the name. So there's quite a number of uh, preferences that you can uh, select. For example, you can tell Handbrake to switch off your computer once it's done, go or to go to uh, sleep or go to hibernate. So there's many things that you can use. Okay, and there's a choice of encoders as well. Now I'm going back here. So I'm going to show you the queue. So now my queue has several files, right? So this one was the one that you com uh, I compressed earlier. This one was paused. And this one was recently added. Finally, let's talk about saving a preset. Now, if you have done all this, you have set all this and you're happy, for example, you're happy with the dimension, you're happy with the filters and audio, you can actually save it a new preset. So just give it a name. So let's say I'm going to call this James 1080p uh, preset. Okay, and uh, set all this and save it as your preset. Okay, so uh, to access your preset, go to uh, the presets over here, you have your custom presets, okay, full HD, 720, 1080p, so you can do that. And so every time you want to uh, compress a video, you can actually just uh, use that preset. Although I've given you some guidelines to set up Handbrake plus the documentation from the website itself, for your situation, you really need to test it out for yourself, the amount of time and the hardware that you have. Now, the reason why I say that is that each of us, the video clips that we shoot will be very different. Some of it will have a lot of movement down there, or you may be going after some much smaller size than what is acceptable to other people. So what I suggest is that you take a two to three minute video clip, test it out, and see which settings is the most suitable for you based on the, your hardware and the amount of time that you have, and also the space, all right? So in certain situation, you may not want to compress that much, and it actually saved you some time. I hope that this video has helped you. If you like it, hit the uh, like button. And if you haven't subscribed, do consider subscribing. Check out some of the other things on this channel to help you in making videos.